What's up, YouTube, man? I'm back with another video. I feel like the camera don't look. All right, man. So, chosen ones. Chosen ones, chosen ones, chosen ones. Um, this video... It's going to be titled, They Used Your Information Against You. They Used Your Information Against You, Chosen One. That's what they did. They used your information. Let's get straight into the video, man. Um, without you, without you, there's nothing, chosen ones. Your, um, your emotions gave them clues. So they were able to be around you and study your emotions chosen ones um then that gave them the blues clues how to attack you you know what i mean um they send little random texts to you <clears throat> you know what i mean <clears throat> uh, they do a bunch of tomfoolery um just to get lodged back into your life into your energy cycles into your memory and, and, and stay fresh on your mind and just get back into your life <clears throat> um but the point of going no contact is to stay away but they may think it's just a phase you know what i mean because maybe you know think about it uh growth and development works with like struggle on the uphill and so of course, the narcissist is going to take that time, it, like just like any uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing is going to just try to nizzle away. I don't know if nizzle is a word, but and nibble and bite and tear and wound you further so that you just don't get away. And this is kind of insidious, right? But let's keep going. Um, but they may think it's just a phase. Now, hope is just a phase, you know. Um, the delude, delusionalize that it's just a phase, but to be honest, growth is growth. Meaning that when it's that time to grow, when it's that time for a baby to be born, it's nothing no one could do to stop it. When it's that time for someone to die, it's no one could stop it because it's a time and a place for everything. And see. You just allowing life to happen for, what, 20-something years was just what it was. But you actually evolving on a spiritual realm. You know, kids don't know nothing about spiritual realm. Kids know about physical. And we're trained by society to stay on physical. That's it. But when you look at the spiritual realm as you grow and, you, you know, you gain power. And so, you know... That can't be messed with, you know, that insight that you that you ought to have. Um, so growth is growth. Um, so like I say, they will. Uh, they need tabs on you. Your inner strength is. Uh, I think I said all that matters in this, meaning having the hard up truth that, hey, I'm not interested. You know, and saying that sometimes is very affirming. And I think just getting accustomed with how the universe really is. It's like when you're trying to learn how to pick up women or any other skill, like it'd be sometimes the little things, even with chess, like it's sometimes just the little things that slip your mind in. You just need an affirmation to remind you of the rules and the lay of the land. Same thing with narcissism. It's like, bro, your energy and your spirit matters. Like, 
You know, if you look at things that happen bad to most people from what it looked like, in my opinion, you could tell them them years or weeks, bef- months before something bad happened to them. You could tell where their energy level was at. You could tell how they was feeling about themselves. You could tell that they was beaten down by life. And life consumes life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, animals that eat their own animals when, you know, they realize that it's weak enough to do it. Like, just because we humans, we separated uh immensely but we we be sitting around acting like we don't know why bad stuff happened to people we we title it in our head why do good things bad things happen to good people instead of looking at it as why do bad things happen to weak people meaning he could have been good and weak is it is it impossible is it impossible for someone to be good and weak i mean obviously in a in a savage like world um, being good enhances your probability of because look if you're good and strong then it only enhances the strong but if you're good and weak then it only enhances the weak if you're if you're bad sometimes when you're bad and weak it enhances the weak and sometimes when you're bad and strong and then but it but it's all what it, it is what it is because that's why everybody got to learn their own spirit their own self because you got to know what make you strong i know every time i eat a uh, cow fish chicken i feel weak i feel good in that first 15 25 30 minutes but then after a couple hours i start to feel you know like my lower self i start to feel you know different when i eat some fruit or when i fast it's one way but i ain't you know sometimes like I said, you have to know yourself to even persist on that road because narcissists will come back around. You'll smell food around you. You know, I don't been through phases and lived with people and been on vegan diets already and ate fruit or two two years year ago. Like, why would I ever eat again, eat fish or anything again today or yesterday or whatever? Why would that still be happening? It's something deeper, right? So in this channel, we go deeper to the sciences. Science. You are who you hang with. In all facets. Like, okay, cool. Like, if you don't got the food in the fridge, you wouldn't eat it. When you live with people who eat that way, then that's what happens. But peep this. You get your own crib. You fill the fridge up with what? You're going to fill it up with fruit. And if you so happen to ever accidentally, oh, man, I want to order a sub from this place. That's different, right? So when you live in these situations where life is like kind of like on your back, it's, it's really hard. And so that's why we need community. We need we got to have great social skills, bro. Like, And I stress this enough. I kind of went off course from the video, but this is, I'm just going in because, bro, like, it's not even just about social skills, bro. It's about locking down a friend. Like, you got to have the audacity, right, to lock lock it down. Like, okay, cool. Because every friendship is not them putting in all the work, bro. Like, ironically, me growing up, I accept that a lot of people put in all the work, like, I accept all the girls put in all the work and all my friends put in all the work. But I'll hang with you. I'll link with you. Like, if the vibe was right. But, you know, I'll I'll text where, where, where you at, bro. But that's simple. I'm talking about it's still like that. But now that we're, uh, uh, we're older, we're, you know, life is different now. You feel me? Like, you got to actually have a mouthpiece, bro. A lot of people don't got that. They think they got it, but they don't got it. And even me, myself, like, I got it more with women, I feel like, than I got it with, you know, talking to guys. Like, I feel like I never, you know, worked on that. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> you got to be assertive, too. You got to be, it's a whole different ball game, bro. When you're talking to women, it's like, you don't got to ever worry about getting into no static with a woman. Da, 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 da. When it's with, when you're talking to guys, bro, you got to think to yourself, like, bro, if this shit get... It, it could go, it's a different side of nature, 100%. <laughs> it's 
I was a you in the field, but that's a part of life, bro. Like you see what I'm saying? But it's still picking wise friends because even though guys are guys, right? We're we're dangerous creatures, it's still, you know, some safer than others. So <clears throat> it's not always, you know, a life or death scenario, but you know, picking those you gotta have expectations for your friendships, like picking those friends who you feel like, you feel me? If we're gonna do anything violent, we're gonna go to the gun range. You feel me? But it's not gonna be like, you know, you know, we could throw the hands, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just, you know, good spirits, like good, good high vibrations. Like we ain't on no, you know, it's supposed to be, in my, in my view of friendships, it's supposed to be way more sunny days than rainy days. It's supposed to be way more parties and, you know, just lit situation. That's how I view it, you know what I'm saying? And see what I'm doing right now? I'm using my imagination and I'm expressing and I'm explaining to myself my expectation. And when I'm doing that, it's like a affirmation to say like, okay, well, now when I go talking, because things don't just come to you, bro. Like I said, when you a kid, yeah, and you in your first neighborhood and yeah, like when you grow up in the neighborhood, you're in school. Now, but when you on your own, bro, you on your own. And you got to really decide, like, okay, cool. He a cool guy. I don't know about this guy. This guy cool. Whatever. And then you got to be like, okay, with people walking out your life. Because you might say this guy cool, but and you might say this guy not cool. But that guy might think that guy that you said not cool, cool. So now they two want to chill. But you said you, you don't want to hang with this this guy. So you either you're going to compromise and hang with the guy that you said you don't want to hang with. Or you're going to cut them both off. Because life is about sacrifices, bro. Life is about sacrifices, and I've been doing that. Like, people who know me and knew me, they know, like, yo, when I started hanging with them, bro really walked away. But see, it's like people respect that deep down. They know that that's that's real, that's right, that's self-love, because you ain't really want to hang with them people I was about to hang with. But, like, it's still is a big piece of me that never worked on my social skills after that. So that's what I'm saying. Like people after that still hung with me just because, just because like, Oh bro, look cool. So I accepted all that. I always accepted that, especially when it was like people who I already had, you know, initial like preconceived notions of like, um, people I either went to school with people I knew when I was a kid or something like that. But now it's like I'm saying, now I'm 27, like looking at, like, it's like if I was to say I was to buy a car right now, drive to the nearest bar and just chill at the bar. That's that to me, that's an environment you could go into. You can stop, look around, shake a couple of hands and have a drink and leave. But, like, I'm a singular guy. That's what I'm trying to tell, like, like express, like, I'm the guy, like, that, uh, the lone wolf, you feel me? Like, and that's a blessing, bro. It's like a curse and a blessing, but it's more of a blessing. Because I could always go into a crowded group or a crowd of people and chop it up. Yo, this video was not supposed to do this. But, man, I'm about to cut this video short, but I'm going to still title it what I'm going to title it. But just veering off a little bit, um, you know, about life because I think the next vid couple of videos I'm going to make going to be about friends because I love to make the chosen one videos. But at the same time, it's like um, we got to talk about some 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 other things, too, because. You know, we're, we're chosen, and but the stuff I'm talking about also it lines up with the chosen one. Like I said, about we're, we really lone wolves, so we really, <clears throat> we really got to do whatever we want to do, just like this video. Some things is off the cuff. It's not, you know, it just go where it's going to go, but that's why it's been hard for us chosen ones, because we always had to think on the spot. Like, if we don't think on the spot, we're not going to get nothing done. Because our life is so unique that it's not 
cut like and like the rest of the society. It's not cut like the rest of the world. So there's no blueprint, and we are the blueprint. We we if we don't turn the lights on, we're gonna be in the dark. So we turn the lights on, like I said, and look around and say, "Oh man, it's empty in here. Nobody's in here. How do I live alone in a world full of you?" The only reason you care about being alone is because society taught you because they grew you up in a house. They grew you up in the crib and then they grew you up in a house and then you have family members in the house. But if we were in the woods in nature, you would not have no house. You wouldn't have been housed. You would have just been an, uh, a, a singular person the whole time. But then you would have had a little bit of training maybe from mom and pops, but then you would have just originally just blossomed off and just been like, okay, accepting that at the end of the day, you know, I'm alone all the time. And and I think most of us do that, but at some point, you know, we resign based off the the knowledge, the, the mindset. But really we're supposed to stay out here. We're supposed to stay in the mix. We're supposed to stay. But see, staying, like I said, without a mouthpiece, without the communication skills, it doesn't make any sense. It breaks. It automatically breaks. Because only they say only the strong survive. But <clears throat> I'm going to add to that. It's strong. It's strong and wise. So you got to have, you know, you got to, like, I don't know. The, having a mouthpiece is just a skill. So it's understanding that in nature and in life, sometimes not having that one skill messes up the whole life. Because think about it. If I want to make a certain meal, but I don't got one ingredient, it could mess up the whole thing. And that's kind of what it is. And think about it. Talking is like a main fucking thing, bro. It's like water. You Imagine being in a relationship with somebody who is a mute. They don't talk. They're a mute. They don't talk. If they don't talk, then what? how are you going to... You can't read minds. So how are you going to even respect somebody who is grown that can't talk? Now, who, who the fuck can't talk? Why can't they talk? Why? What is it about talking that is not computing with this person? And that's what's weird, right? That's fucking weird. But what I'm saying is that most of y'all are under the impression right now that y'all are okay with, you know, the little bit of words that y'all do use. Y'all think that y'all life is cool and good. And see, that is cool and good for now, but you got to learn. You got to learn. And you got to have a canned shit that you say to people. People want to be perfect. Oh, I don't want no canned stuff. I'm not a pickup artist. I'm not. No, I don't care what you call yourself. You need 10 canned things that you're going to say when you see another guy. Because guess what? You need to talk to other men. You're a man. You got to talk to other men. And you got to hit the gym. You got to go to the restaurant. You know, you got to go. And, like, if you don't want to be codependent on nobody, you have to be a full-blown adult at all times. Twenty-four. It's 24 hours in a day. So even if you're not an adult for them 10 seconds, 20 seconds, bro, like, that's going to feed back into the reinforcement of you feeling soft. So you have to remember, like, whatever you don't work on, it really does crumble straight up. So that's that's what's going to happen, man. And also another thing before I go, if you don't work on what you're going to say, you're going to feel uh, you're going to feel weak. Because you're going to be around people and you're going to feel like you don't know what the fuck to say. And then when that happens, it's going to reinforce the fact that you don't feel like you belong. And then you're going to feel even worse because it's going to funnel you. It's like the, it's like the system has a way of funneling you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because when you know what to say, and another thing, last thing. When you know what to say or you know what you want to say or what you're going to say, you let people do what they want to do with what you say. But remember, 
everybody not going to like what you're going to say. So just say it. What you're going to say, say the canned stuff, like I said, because if the canned stuff you say, if you can make it reasonable or good enough, then you don't have to worry about, you know, like, same thing with women, though. Like, you don't have to worry about whether they're going or coming because you could just go talk to somebody else. You could just go talk to the next person. And understanding that not everybody's going to uh, accept that canned one because that person may just not be in the mood or, you know, people are, people are, that's the, that's the trick. I'm looking at this shit fully. People are going to go what they're going to, they're going to do, but you have to be stoic in your character. So it's like putting a, a flag in the ground, pole in the ground. That's the type of way you have to be as a speaker. Meaning I say this to every guy I come across. This same couple of shits. You know what I mean? These same couple of words I say to everybody. And that's called being defiant in nature, meaning I'm resilient, meaning nobody's going to tell me or move me off of what the fuck I'm talking about. And when you're not like that, when you're not like that, what's happening is you're being bullied by the wind, meaning that if it snows, if it rains, you're going to feel this way, you're going to feel that way. But when you're one way, because you truly believe in you, because you you rehearsed yourself, which sounds crazy, but it's as an adult true. Meaning like, oh, I'm gonna say, what's up, bro? How you? Nice to meet you. My name's my name's K. Da 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 da. And then I'm gonna push forward, and then I'm gonna say, bro, yo, what's your Instagram, bro? Da da. Next time, bro, I'm gonna hit the gym, bro. I'm gonna hit you up, bro. Simple. Simple. And then we exchange Instagrams and then I'm gone, bro. It's that simple. Just how the same you'll pick up a woman, but it's just like people don't want to compare those two, but it's kind of the same. But like, where do you find these friends? Like I said, you find them the same places you find women. You find them on Bumble, Facebook. I mean, online, you can find them on Meet Me. You can find them on those places, but you can also just go outside. And find them right there. Or you could go to the, you know, the gym. You could go downtown. Every city got a downtown. Uh, I went to an event and it was like, um, I went to an event and it was like a, you know, little event. You know, it's just little things like that, bro, that can really change, change the game for you. Because like I say, every day is a new day. So things is constantly moving. And if you're not social, bro, that shit can really, it could really break you. Because after a while, what you're realizing is that you're not living your life. And um, that could be quite troublesome. It could be very, very, um, it could be very, very teasing, actually, after a while. It's like you're teasing yourself. Like, you know, it could irk you, it could torment your soul to not actually have people who you can just, you know, Send them a simple yo, yo, or send them a simple what's up, you know, send them a simple, you know, uh, hey, yo, what's up, bro, like, you hear me, like, and those simple connections uh, are vital, really for your survival, think about it, bro, we're like trees, we're like plants, we're just people, but we're still like antennas with energy, and like, you still have to like, commune, if you don't commune, it's almost like life has a weird way of like weeding you out and you don't want to be weeded out. It has a, it has a weird way of doing that. It has a weird way of doing that. It has a, like a purge. It's nature. We're living in nature right now as we speak. It could purge. It could be like, okay, weakest link. You don't want to, you don't want to learn skill. So I'm about to go deep on these topics for the rest of the day, bro. Because shout out to, I like to shout the people out that I listen to about the topics that I'm talking about, because that helps me be able to say, I could, I could, I could kind of be resourceful with those YouTube channels while I, you know, make some more content for y'all and come back. But shout out to Madison, um, forgot his last name, black guy. 
uh, social social coach. Shout out to Julian himself. Shout out to um, what's his name, bro? Shout out to uh, Owen Cook. That's the number one guy you probably want to check out. And um, <coughs> Coach Kyle, my number one guy that I listen to for real, for real. When it comes to dating and when it comes to um, – he's not my number one guy with dating, but he's, like, up there. And um, with, like, um, I listen to him when it comes to the – definitely with the social circle um, thing. Because if you don't work on that daily, bro, it'll 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 it has a it has a weird way of like uh it really has a weird way of fleeing and slipping away and departing from you. I don't know. I think it's just how we was raised. Like we were like raised in the house. Like everybody wasn't, but I was. I was raised in the house at a young age. So like me acknowledging that helps me out because I know there's a lot of other guys out here who were raised in the house. And so we were raised in like games and like stuff like that. So our our social abilities could grow now, but we just have to be real and be like, bro, we ain't had that shit when we was young, bro. Like, and anybody who know me at the age of like sixth grade and middle school and even high school, they probably thought I was a little social awkward, but they just probably thought I was quiet too. But you can't be like that forever, bro, because that's just not, this is not realistic, bro. It's just not realistic, bro. Like, it's not realistic. And then you definitely have those doubts and those fears of like, yo, if I do express too much, bro, people are going to think this or think that. But truth be told, bro, if you was really just expressive, bro, people would have just heard it and would have accepted it because that's a moment of real realism like those moments are defiant meaning who could stop that who could stop a man from saying anything but that man thinking that people care that he about to say something but if he understood deep down within that people really some might care a little bit but that's not necessarily like prevalent towards your it's not gonna define whether you know, that's not going to stop anything. And it's kind of understanding your own power at that point that you can actually speak and that people are actually going to shut shut up and listen. Like, um, But yeah, it's conditioning for sure that keeps people in that state of... Um, it's the conditioning that keeps people... It's brainwashing. You know, the way you were, were raised... Uh, you were groomed in that way. And that's that's kind of crazy. When you look at the it's kind of insane when you look at that, man, because um I honestly believe it's 365 days in a year. I, I that's a common year. I I I I honestly believe by it's March by December. That whole shit going to be totally different. And even before that, like I said, today, you know, it's it's good to set goals because I'm going to tell you all this before I go. When I'm on my dating coach time, it's easy for me to just get caught up in just harping over there on that. But then I forget all about the fact that, bro, your cupboard is empty of like, guy friends you don't got no guy friends like so like it's cool to be alone but that you got to kind of work both simultaneously so like maybe make a girl like girlfriend friend like a friend like a a girlfriend and a, a friend that's a guy and also make a girl that's a shorty so two and one two and one two and one like you see what i'm saying because you have to find a way to do both and be good at both because it takes time to do, to get good at both. <laughs> so you got to kind of like push both. If you get good at one and not good at the other, chances are that that one that you're good at is going to snowball effect. And that one that you're not good at is going to kind of like 
deprived because you're going to when it's almost like when you learn something new over here, you forget you you go one step forward, two step back on this one. And so I noticed that over time. So like I said, it's about coming up with a system where you're working it and you're actually just being a little bit more uh, widespread with your, you know, time because you want to say to yourself, yo, if I make two girls and then I get a guy friend, then I make two girls and I get another guy friend, then I, I, I'm, I'm working in a more broad perspective. And then I can kind of like snowball it all in one way and then you know that's how you in my opinion going to create social circle versus you having a social a social line you know that's the problem people keep creating accidentally social social line social line either you're too busy trying to make friends or you're too busy trying to get all the girls and it's like you got to have a broad balance that can pull those results because there's no telling which one's more important you know you need guy friends and you need girlfriends right you need everything you need water and you need food and you need everything so i'm about to end this video on for show but just to be clear i'd rather have guy friends than a girlfriend because I learned in society that I, I can't say I'd rather have that. I think both are very, very, it's guys who just got friends that's guys and they don't got no girlfriend that are still on planet Earth doing okay. I think that both has their perks, but for me in particular, I think I got to find out that for myself, All right? Like, what's going to help me be the best version of myself? It's, it's cool to have a couple of dogs in your corner for sure. But then, like, I don't know. You got to find a balance, though. That's the key. So, hmm. I'm going to make more videos on this topic, though. So I'm going to see you on the next video. We're 32 minutes in. That's a little too long for my liking. And um, I think it's easier to get girls than it is to get guy friends because guy friends have a, they have ego. Guys have egos. We all have egos. So it's like, I don't know. I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm going to see you in the next video, man. I'm out. Peace.